Infinity Nikki revealed a magical destination, which players will be able to visit soon in Miraland. Halia introduced the new Season of Splendor, and Coral Island dropped a quality of life update and shared news on multiplayer. All this and more today. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Sunstone, bringing you the latest gaming news with Sunny Side Up. Today is November 25th, 2024, so let's get started with our first major headline. As we ramp up for the global launch of Infinity Nikki, which is coming to PlayStation 5, PC, and mobile on December 5th, the team shared a behind-the-scenes look at the making of The Wishing Woods, a beautiful and magical newly revealed region within the world of Miraland. At the heart of The Wishing Woods stands the largest and oldest tree in this area, the Grand Milliwish Tree, which is home to the Feywish Sprites. The introduction of this new area further showcased how we will use the shrinking ability provided by the Starlet Burst outfit to explore the world from a different perspective, which will especially come into play while visiting the Grand Milliwish Tree with Momo. The team also shared more about the making of Infinity Nikki's music, using sounds and instruments from across the globe to weave into Miraland. Further, they noted that it was important to them for players to be able to explore the sounds of Miraland themselves and create their own music, which led to the creation of the Symphony of Strings outfit, which will provide Nikki with the violinist ability. On top of this new look behind the scenes, the team also shared device configuration specifications. So if you're wondering what the minimum requirements are to run the game, please reference these graphics for PC, iOS, and Android. Winterboro, an upcoming cozy woodland survival game, shared an overview of what players can expect from gameplay. In this title, you play as a small mouse who is returning home to their childhood burrow, only to find it broken down and neglected. To restore it to its former glory, you'll explore the surrounding wilderness to search for resources and materials. You'll be able to knit woolen sweaters to keep you warm in the winter cold, and bake delicious pies to keep you from going hungry on the road. On your journey, you can meet the locals who will give you valuable tips and discover all new areas with a variety of creatures to encounter. There is currently a demo for Winter Burrow available on Steam if you'd like to try out the game before it's set to release on Xbox and PC via Steam in 2025. Truckful, an action-adventure game, also showcased some official gameplay for their upcoming title, where you drive your pickup truck through the seemingly peaceful countryside valleys, delivering much-needed goods to local townsfolk. This trailer introduced us to our fellow delivery courier, Roddy, who will accompany us as we travel through hidden paths, misty wetlands, unforgiving marshes, and dusty quicksands. To traverse such terrain, you'll be able to upgrade the truck along the way to improve its capabilities with physics-based car handling gameplay. Although everything here looks peaceful at first glance, the ancient forest located on the outskirts of the countryside is unwelcoming to visitors and often mentioned in local legends and myths. Unravel the small town mysteries and beware because the forest is always watching. Truckful is planned to come to PC via Steam, however no specific release window has been announced just yet. Now it's time for our next major headline. Halia dropped an update for the game seemingly out of nowhere called the Season of Splendor, bringing the Palian community more quests, seasonal content, plushies, decor, and more. Most notably, players can now finally experience the long-awaited conclusion to the prologue of Pelia's main story questline. You'll join Subira to help her investigate a mysterious intruder by solving puzzles and riddles, exploring new areas, and more. This part of the story includes four new quests, and the team suggests that you don't skip any dialogue, because they are setting the stage for Elderwood's release early next year. The Winterlight Celebration is also back, as Killama changes from fall to winter on December 3rd with new foliage, winter lights treasure chests, and the return of the seasonal store with old and new items to browse. Four new fish plushies are available with a chance to hook one of these when fishing, two new wallpapers and flooring options have been added to the housing tour store, and a series of quality of life improvements, bug fixes, and optimizations have also been implemented. Of course, as always, a series of new premium offerings have been added, which is Paleo's only area of monetization. 
However, four new free hairstyles and 10 free hair colors have been added for all players to enjoy. Finally, be sure to log in before Tuesday, December 3rd at 10 o'clock a.m. Pacific Standard Time to claim a free potato pod, at which time the next Magi Market event will also return. Cuisineer, the roguelite dungeon crawler and restaurant simulator, set in an adorable world which was previously available exclusively on PC, announced that the game is now officially coming to consoles. In this title, you play as Palm, who returns to her hometown to manage her parents' restaurant, only to find that it is closed for business and is in deep debt. You'll be tasked with reopening the restaurant by delving into dungeons, armed with an artillery of cooking utensils, collecting ingredients from your runs that you can bring home and turn into delicious dishes. There are also many sweet and spicy town folks to befriend around the lush world, each offering quests to complete. The console release of this title will also bring new combat weapons, buffs, more annual special events held in town, festival-themed furniture, new outfits for Palm, and more. Cuisineer will be releasing on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and the Nintendo Switch on January 28, 2025, with physical editions available across platforms. Whisper of the House, an upcoming pixel art renovation puzzle game, was announced with a spring 2025 release window. Set in a cozy yet mysterious town, you'll be tasked with helping quirky residents with moving and organizing their homes, including providing housekeeping services, arranging furniture, and creating personalized designs. You might work with tree folk, fish folk, and other unique species, and as you help each client, you'll be generously rewarded. You'll also have a personal living space to call your own, which you can customize to your taste using resources you gather on the job. In your free time, you can explore the town at your leisure, perhaps uncovering hidden secrets along the way. This game looks very promising, deriving inspiration from unpacking, yet offering its own unique spin, which includes an interesting balance between cozy and mysterious. So far, it's confirmed to be coming to PC via Steam, and there is currently an ongoing playtest on Steam to which you can request access if you're interested and would like a chance to try it out early. Now it's time for our final major headline. Stairway Games, the developers behind Coral Island, released a development update for the first time since earlier this year in June. The November blog post showcased the changes and additions that were included in the surprise quality of life update, which Shadow dropped and is already available on Steam. First up, new NPC reactions and events have been added, highlighting the romanceable NPCs and your chosen spouse specifically. You will also now receive an alert in the relationship UI when a heart event is available for each character, along with details for how to trigger it, which is an incredibly helpful feature that I'm excited to see. A daily goddess blessing has also been added, which can be obtained at the nearest fast travel point each day. Players will receive one buff per day, which can grant you with a series of benefits for your gameplay. Fish nets have also been added, which function similarly to the insect traps, but of course for fish. Mystery rocks will now appear in the mines, which can drop ores or veins seeds, rare fish, rare insects, or even unleash monsters when destroyed. A new cooking channel has been added to the TV, hosted by Chef Siska, which airs every Friday night. Watching this show will allow you to learn and unlock new cooking recipes, which can then be prepared in your kitchen at home. A series of other quality of life and balancing improvements have been made across a number of aspects of the game, so as always, if you're interested in further details, I will have the full blog post linked in the video description, along with other relevant resources from today's stories. But that's not all. Interestingly and excitingly, the team is beginning recruitment for a closed multiplayer testing session, which will take place from December 2nd until December 8th, followed by an open testing phase available for everyone to participate in, which will run from December 16th until January 5th. This is excellent news, meaning we are one step closer to finally enjoying Coral Island in multiplayer. Coming up this week, Critter Cafe, a wholesome life simulator and cafe management game with a twist, is releasing on PC via Steam and for the Nintendo Switch on November 26, when a mysterious portal in your new home reveals a long-lost critter stuck within, you must set out to rescue all who are trapped as you build a welcoming cafe for townsfolk and critters alike. Create your own character, customize your cafe, master your customers' requests, and build a sanctuary for lost critter friends. Light Your Frontier, the open-world adventure game where you build a new homestead, farm alien crops, and discover ancient secrets, 
is releasing their Trailblazer update on November 27th. This update will include quality of life improvements and features created with community feedback in mind specifically. Midori no Kari, a relaxing cozy game in which you create your own Japanese shop and manage customers, is releasing into early access on November 27th for PC via Steam. Create and customize your own restaurant, take care of your customers, and allow yourself a moment of peace and tranquility as you immerse yourself in the relaxing world. And don't forget that Sunhaven, the fantasy farming sim title with RPG elements is releasing for the Nintendo Switch on November 29th specifically for the Americas regions along with Japan, Hong Kong, and Korea. Please keep in mind that multiplayer is not available for the Switch version of the game and it will be coming to Europe on December 16th so folks located in this region will have to wait just a little bit longer. And Steam's autumn sale will be kicking off on November 27th and running through December 4th which is one of the platform's major seasonal sales. So be sure to check in on your wish list during this time frame. But what will you be playing this week and what new announcements are you most excited for? Anything and everything, you know I always love hearing from you. Please make sure you're subscribed with your notifications on for weekly episodes of Sunny Side Up. Shine that lovely like button to help support the series. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. I love you all. And until next time, take care.